morning all of you <coughs> good morning sir morning sir good morning sir good morning beta good morning sir ha bulaya nahi good mo- good uh, good morning sir good morning sir we are doing chapter is exercise uh, ration proportion we start from yes. first question second part yes so this is your first question second part sir yes. sir please don't remove okay all of you we have done the sir, second part sir so, my third question have a section we have not done i will tell you i will do the third part of the a section we have not done yes beta yes we are doing the second part in section a we have not done the second part in section b we have done the second part no problem i am explaining you the second part all of you please pay attention sir. sir sir like we have done second part but not second question yes we have not yes sir correct sir, question 1 second part. part yes okay all of you look at this question number 1 uh, second part the ratio is given 13.5 is to 15 we have to change it in simplest form so like i told you in the last 10. class that we can multiply both the terms of a ratio by same number no problem in that the ratio remains same if we multiply or divide both the terms by same number or divide both the numbers by same number no problem in that okay sir so 9 ratio 10 is the answer correct so first we have multiplied 13.5 by 10 and 15 also by 10 yes sir this is the method this is very easy so we get 135 ratio 150 okay and now we have divided both the terms by 5 so we get 27 ratio 30 you can directly divide by 15 also if you want in the next step we oh, have divided sir. both the terms by 3 so we get 9 ratio 10 okay this is sir. the answer atar saxena good morning sir. you were not present in the first period please sir, can we do sir can we do the last, third question by sir yes let's start with the third part sir in third sir. question which you are asking me about it so sir i have i am explaining i am explaining the sir first we will take correct. the lcm to denominator correct correct and so after process i am doing that 40 and 45 my answer came okay the process with that only Okay, okay, okay. But how to write it? Let's see how to write. Sir, LCM of three and two is six. Correct. LCM. I'm telling you an easier way of doing it. <coughs> the fraction is given six whole two upon three. First term of the ratio. Forty upon six. Seven whole one upon two. These are the two terms of the fra- of the ratio. So first of all, change them in improper fractions. You get twenty upon three ratio fifteen upon two. Correct. Right? Now yes, here, sir. both the terms of the ratio. Sir, eight ratio nine is the answer. Duck, stop shouting. If you have done, please send your answer in the group. Don't shout like this. Okay. Yes, sir. So twenty upon three ratio fifteen upon two. Both the terms having different denominators. so what we have to do the next step is to find the lcm of the denominators lcm of 3 and 2 is equal to 6 so very easy way Percent. to do it very good beta i'm just taking it 20 upon 3 into 6 ratio 15 upon 2 into 6 multiply both the terms of the ratio by 6 okay Let's now simplify this. Sir, I have not done this by this method. No problem. There are many ways of. Me do. There are many ways of doing it. Twenty into two is forty. Forty. Fifteen into three is forty-five. Forty-five. Forty into forty-five. Forty-five. Now you divide by six. Eight ratio nine. Nine. Divide by five. So what do we get? We get eight ratio nine. Answer. Sir, my answer is correct. Okay, yes, sir, all of fine. you. Sir, sir, can we do the last part by ourselves? Yes. Now, all of you, you all will try the last part. Correct. We will do the last part straight away now. All of you, start doing it. Very good. The correct answer. 
last part sixth part okay so we are not doing fourth one hmm Sir, in fourth one, numerator is both the numerator or one, two. Sixth part. I hope everyone has done the third one in the copy. Sixth one. In the sixth Sorry. part, the three terms. There are three terms in the ratio. We can have three terms in a ratio. We can have four terms also. Sir, answer okay. is five ratio, thirteen ratio, forty. ठीक है बेटा दस ठीक है I told you earlier also. Don't shout like this. Send your answer in the group. So now, uh, as you can see, there is decimal in the first and second term. So let's multiply the whole ratio by ten. 2.5 into 10 ratio 6.5 into 10 is to 8 into 10. Checking 25 ratio 65 ratio 80. Okay, now we can divide <coughs> by five. Sir, five. Yeah. So Sir, 25 upon five. Sir, five five upon five. Sir, five forty. What? दस बेटा हल्के बोलो थोड़ा हल्के ठीक है स्पीक लिटिल पोलाइटली सर सर माइक डोंट 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 स्टिल इवन देन इट लुक्स लाइक यू आर शाउटिंग स्पीक लिटिल पोलाइटली ओके आई एम मेकिंग माय लाइक लाइक जस्ट बिफोर ऐसे बोल रहे थे ऐसे बोल ओके डोंट शाउट Sir, now so, my voice is perfect. Yes, very good, perfect. So thirteen, so five hundred forty. Five sixteen. Five ratio thirteen ratio sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, answer. Got it. Oh, oh sir, sorry, sir, sorry, sir. Arey, yeah. Sir, my sir answer was sir not correct, sir. So no problem. Sir, corrected. Sir, sixteen. Sir, in hurry, sir. I make sir last mistake. Sir, five hundred forty. Sir, it is sir sixteen, sir. Hmm. Let's start with question number two, without wasting any time. Sir, first we will convert rupees into hundred. Question two. Seventy-five pesa pesa into uh, ratio three hundred. Sir, before doing question number two, can you explain the question number four or oh, first part? Just take the LCM six and nine. LCM of six and nine is eighteen. Hello, sir. And multiply yes, both the terms. Hello, sir. Can I rejoin? Sir, can I rejoin the meeting? Yes, yes. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes. Hello, sir. Can I rejoin? Sir, your voice is not coming. Hello, sir. I sent him a chat message. तो सेवेंटी फाइव पैसे रेशियो थ्री रुपीज हाँ सानिया आई वॉज टेलिंग यू सम एल सी एम ऑफ सिक्स एंड नाइन इज एटीन ओके सो यू मल्टीप्लाई बोथ द टर्म्स बाय एटीन गेट ओके इट इज कमिंग यस अर्लियर ऑल्सो इट वॉज कमिंग सर रुपीज इन टू पैसे One rupee is equal to hundred. Seventy-five paise ratio, three hundred paise. You all know how to change rupees into paise. So what is the ratio that we get? Paise. <clears throat> we can divide by twenty-five. 
So yes, sir. Or yeah. we can straight away divide by seventy-five also. So we get. No, sir. Five first. Four. Sorry, three. Divide by seventy-five. Okay. Zero. Directly divide by seventy-five. Yeah. One ratio four. Three hundred divided by four is the answer. Four. Okay. Let's start doing the second part. We will do only two parts of this question. Okay, sir. Sir, I've done part all of them. So, second part, can we try by ourselves? Five centimeter. Yes, obviously. You all can start doing sixty-three centimeter. Solve. Don't look at the board. Just keep on doing. Yes, sir. I am sir doing sir. Why am I ourself? My only, sir. So this is one zero five centimeters ratio sixty three centimeters. Divide by both the terms. You can divide by nine. No seven. Sir, it is automatically sir cutting by sixty three. Not possible. Sir, uh, seven sir. Seven sir. Yes. क्या हो गया? Sir, answer is five is to three. Fifteen ratio nine, and now we can divide by three also. So when you divide by three, both the terms you get five ratio three. Correct answer, Kishan. Sir, good. five ratio three is the correct answer. Very good, very good, very good. Sir, can I tell the one method of doing the third question? Sir, five ratio three is the answer. Beta, the answer only when I ask you. Please, sir, can I tell one method? Yes, tell your method. Sir, first you write the sir the number sir, then I will tell you the method of how to solve. A ratio B is equal to seven ratio five, and B ratio C is given nine ratio fourteen. Sir, please allow the pencil option sir, then I will sir tell you. Okay, we have to find A ratio C. This is what we have to find. Okay. मैथड What? Are you, why are you doing it here? Sir, I can send you on group, sir. My method, sir, because in here it is not clearly. Yes. Sir, can I send you group? Send it in the group, yes. Okay, sir. <clears throat> yes all sir, of you sir just sending sir but please sir, i think i know this question number 3 so like i can able to do by myself i don't know because sir i remember the solution in of previous class also i don't know why of this chapter only sir, sir, sir please wait sir i'm sending on group sir send sir please check sir class 6 you had sir, please check my message Yes, yes. बेटा दक्ष दक्ष की इतने yes, excited sir. क्यों हो जाते हो दक्ष? You just keep on shouting. You don't let me listen what others are saying. दक्ष behave. Hello, This sir. This is the last time I'm. Sir, why is not sir. coming? Hello. Sir, is my method is correct? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. There is something wrong with Dax today. Excuse me, sir. Yes, beta. Sir, I have taken up the answer of question number three. I have sent it on the group. Yes, beta, taking it. So, A C. So, 
AC is equal to seven ratio fourteen. Very good. Prashant. So one ratio right. two or sir seven ratio fourteen. I am telling you. So I, I will tell you a method which will be uh, applicable everywhere. Okay. Sorry, sir. Sir, I was suggest sir, your voice was not coming. Sorry, sir. Very sorry. That's Gangwar. Behave yourself. This is the last time I'm telling you. After this, I will remove you from the meeting. Okay. So, yes, that's. Sir, is my method correct? Wait for a minute. Sir, okay, can let I me tell? Hamad, wait. Okay, everyone. A is to B is given seven raised to five, so we can change it in a fraction. A upon B equals to seven upon five, and the second one is. B upon C, which is nine upon fourteen. So look at the which term in both the ratios is common. B is a common letter in both the terms. Am I right or not? B is a common sure. letter. Yeah. So you find the LCM of five and six, five and nine. What are the values of B in both the case terms? Forty-five. LCM of five and nine is equal to forty-five. Correct. Okay, so we will multiply the first fraction by nine upon nine to make the denominator forty-five. So what do we get? We get sixty-three upon forty-five. And in the second one, we will multiply by five upon five to again make uh, the numerator forty-five this time because uh, B is in the numerator this time. Okay, so we will get forty-five in the numerator and fourteen into five seventy in the denominator. Now, because the value of B is same in both the ratios, now we can directly remove B here. When once B is same in both the ratios, we can directly remove it and just now write A upon C equals to sixty-three upon seventy. And if required, you can simplify, divide by seven, nine upon ten. So answer is nine upon ten, which is equal to Nine ratio and a ratio c is equal to nine ratio ten. So, Shant, your method is correct. I have seen. Sir, Daksh I, I, Daksh, Daksh. Daksh, I am seeing your method also now. Azalu, Azal, drawing. Hey, rakh do. Ah, fake na nahi rakh diye. Just that. Just that. Just that. Keep your mind off. Azalu, send me. Keep your mind. I'm not able to understand what you have done. Sir, means sir, first we will multiply five into uh, seven into nine, then five into fourteen, and then sixty-three ratio, uh, seven seventy, then sixty-three point seventy. Okay, and then sir, we will simplify, and then we will get the answer. Very good. Correct method, sir. But if you have understood, you use it. Don't give any advice to others to use it. Okay. Sorry, sir. Are no, no, no problem. What is to be sorry in it? Okay, so everyone, let's start question number four, five, five. Now, because sir, four, four is the same. So sir, you will do the fourth one in homework. We are starting with question number five. Excuse me, sir. Yes. So I did question number four also. Very good, beta. 
you can post it in the group if you have done it a ratio b is equal to c ratio 5 and b ratio c is equal to 16 sorry 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 a ratio b is 3 ratio 5 correct and b ratio c is 10 ratio 13 okay we have to find this time we have to find a ratio b ratio c all the three ratios together so we will use the same method like we did the last question so i i always tell you the methods which are applicable in all the questions okay not in just in one question some other method we are using in other question question we are using some other method i tell you one method which is universal okay which is applicable everywhere so a upon b is 3 upon 5 and b upon c is 10 upon 13 what which term is common in both the ratios b is common the b so yes, sir. lcm find the lcm of 5 and, and 10. 10 5 10. 10 b wali terms ka ratio the lcm oh yes sir yes, lcm of 5 and 10 is 10 so multiply the first term by 2 upon 2 you get 6 upon 10 yes any doubt anyone no sir no doubt in the second one the numerator is already 10 so we don't have to do anything with the second one now dekho same ho gayi b ki value dono jagah we have to make the value of b same in both the fractions so the value of b is same now now we can directly write a ratio b ratio c directly you can write now the answer is 6 ratio 10 dekho b ki value same hai and ratio 13 6 ratio 10 ratio 13 can we divide all the three terms by any common number Sir, two. No, sir. not no, by sir. any yes, number because yes, only the first two terms are divisible by two, but not sir. the third term. So we I can not divide by two. This is only the answer. Six is two, ten is two, thirteen. Okay. So that is why I told you to use a method which is universal. So this method is applicable everywhere. Yeah. Let's start doing question number seven now. Sir, we have done this. Can we do this ourselves, sir? Sir, please, sir. We have we done. Do we have done questions like this. You are right. Sir, please, sir. Can we do? We this? will be doing question eight, not seven. Question eight is same as question seven, but just sir, one step is extra in question sir, number eight. Sir, it is same as that. Same uh, as question uh, seven. Uh, which I asked you. So we will be doing. Sir, Sir, first Rajan share, then Kamal share. Sir, first we will add. No, no, sir. No, no. बेटा दस, बेटा थोड़ा शांत बैठो कि माइक ऑफ कर लो अपना आज. तो काम करो दस. Permanently अपना माइक ऑफ कर लो आज. तुम्हें कुछ हो गया है. Okay. Clear? दस or not? now you don't open your mic the whole period it is good that you have already done the chapter but it is not good to disturb the class at all so divide rupees 800 880 between rajan and kamal in the ratio 1 upon 5 ratio 1 upon 6 so first of all uh, let's write the two ratios in simplest form राजन एंड कमल क्या रेशो दक्ष मैंने आपसे बोला आज आप माइक ऑफ रखिए अपना बिकॉज यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन दिस चैप्टर सो इट्स बेटर यू कीप योर माइक ऑफ द रेशो इज गिवेन वन अपॉन फाइव इज टू वन अपॉन सिक्स Okay. Now one upon five is is to one upon six. You it is not in simplest form to convert it in simplest form. We know we can multiply the numerator. Sorry, we can multiply both the terms of the ratio by same number, and that is okay. the LCM. LCM is thirty. 
तो वन अपॉन फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थर्टी रेशियो वन अपॉन सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थर्टी तो व्हेन यू सिंपलीफाई यू गेट सिक्स हेयर एंड फाइव हेयर तो द आंसर इज सिक्स रेशियो फाइव तो दिस इज द रेशियो इन सिंपलेस फॉर्म नाउ After changing in simplest form, let's take let's sum of ratio terms. Let Rajan's ratio let Rajan's share or ratio. Let Rajan's share be six six because the ratio is six sixty five and Kamal's share be five x. Okay. Now the total amount that we they, they both are getting is eight hundred eighty. Total amount is eight hundred eighty. That means. If you add Rajan's share and Kamal's share, you will get eight hundred eighty rupees. Okay, so this is your equation: eleven x equals to eight hundred eighty. We have done linear equations, so this is a very simple linear equation for us. We can easily simplify. X equals to eighty. Now, therefore, Rajan's share is. Six into eighty. What do we get? We get rupees four hundred eighty. And finally, Kamal's share. Have you all understood the question or not? Five into eighty. Yes, sir. Four hundred. Thus, you must understand me. I am saying. 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 I am Sir, so Rajan is giving more money um, than Kamal. Okay, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Same is question number nine. So I give you only one minute to do the question. Right now, start doing. One and a half minute. Okay. do take one and a half minute and post your answer in the group just don't speak anything if you have done the question you can post your answer in the group quiet please sir be quiet sir only have, one thing i would do you have lost all your lifelines do you have any doubt daksh yes sir yes ask Yeah. Sir, which question we now we have to post? Answer. Ninth one. Sit in the group now, all of you. So sending.
आंसर सेंट सडन एंड सेंडिंग सर प्लीज चेक आई सेंड ओके टेकिंग इट सुशांत बेटा यू हैव नॉट पोस्टेड द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सर जस्ट पोस्टिंग ओके सर आई सेंड दस गंगवार करेक्ट आंसर व्हाट अबाउट द अदर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम क्लास 7 ए सर सर लक्ष्मीर उत्कर्ष पोस्टिंग व्हाई आर यू ऑल नॉट पोस्टिंग योर आंसर सर कैन आई डू टेंथ क्वेश्चन यस सो वाज माय आंसर इज करेक्ट बेटा जस्ट चेकिंग इट आई एम चेकिंग वन बाय वन दैट्स योर आंसर इज करेक्ट सर सेंट सारा करेक्ट वेरी गुड सारा जस्ट राइट द सिंबल ऑफ रुपीस सुशांत अदर स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम बी सेक्शन पोस्टर आंसर्स करेक्ट सुशांत वेरी गुड सर डन टाइम टू वन Okay, everyone. Question number ten. What number must be added to each term of the ratio nine is to sixteen to make the ratio two is to three? So we will what add x. What should be added? So let x should be added to each term. So we can make the equation easily. So nine upon sixteen is the ratio. and if you add x in both the terms so what do we get we get the ratio so 2 upon 3 we will get 2 upon 3 right so this is your linear equation 9 plus x cross multiply into 3 is equal to 16 plus x into 2 are you all getting the equation or not yes sir yes sir 27 plus 3x is equal to Thirty-two plus two x. Thirty-two plus two x. X equals to thirty-two minus twenty-seven because three x minus two x. Three x okay. minus two x. So we get x equals to five. So five should be added. Answer. Easy question. Yes, sir. Sir, I have also said my answer is. Start doing the eleventh one. Okay, sir. Okay, yourself.
Okay, drink up. So, 